Hello and welcome back to my channel Best of Everyday Life. If you are new to my channel, then don't forget to push subscribe button and let's start cooking together! On my channel you can find many recipes that are very tasty and easy to cook. Today I would like to share with you my recipe for rotisserie chicken in air fryer. I will list all the ingredients in the description below. So let's start cooking! First, let's combine in a small mixing bowl all our spices. Add about 2 tablespoons of Italian seasoning. Then add 1 teaspoon of rosemary. Followed by 1 teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Next, add 2 tablespoons of smoked paprika. Finally, add 1 teaspoon of restaurant-style black pepper and 1 teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. In the next step, we are gonna combine about 2 to 3 tablespoons of light mayonnaise with our spices. Place mayonnaise into a mixing bowl. Let's mix all our spices together in a small bowl first. And then we are gonna add it to the mayonnaise and mix everything well. Our mixture is ready. Wash your chicken really well and place it on a cutting board. Then pat it dry with a paper towel on all sides. In the next step, we are gonna use our mixture with spices. We are gonna place some spices inside of the chicken and then outside we have to cover our chicken completely in this mixture. Next, I will have to secure chicken on a rotisserie shaft. The best weight for my air fryer is about 4 pounds, but because I had a big chicken, I still decided to cook it in air fryer and see how it will work out. I didn't have anything to tie the legs and wings to the chicken, so I secured the legs with a sharp part on one side of the shaft and I will secure the chicken wings with a two sticks. I used about three two sticks for each chicken wing. I was wondering how well it's gonna stay together, but it stayed perfectly. Next, I'm going to place my chicken inside the air fryer. I would suggest to use a little smaller chicken, but my chicken cooked just fine. I preheated my air fryer to 375 Fahrenheit and I cooked my chicken for 45 minutes. Then I lowered the temperature to 345 Fahrenheit and then I cooked chicken for another 40 minutes. During cooking process, I checked internal temperature with a the thermometer many times just to make sure that I am not overcooking my chicken. So I advise you to do the same and stop cooking your chicken when it reaches a safe temperature. When your chicken is ready, take it out and place it on a cutting board. Then I'm going to check the temperature one more time just to make sure that my chicken is ready. Now 
My chicken is ready, so I'm gonna go enjoy this delicious meal with mashed potato and vegetables on the side. Please give me thumbs up if you enjoyed cooking with me. If you like my video, please leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to push notification button so you will get notified when new videos will be uploaded on my channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I wish you the best of everyday life and I will see you soon in my next videos.